So let me show you how I get set up for jotisserie style cook with the charcoal. Um, because we're going to have obviously the basket, the basket sat here. I'm only going to bank my coals onto this side of the the basket. So I like to play a little bit smart with how I'm going to do it. So because I don't want to burn loads of fuel. I'll have a couple of big chunks, the biggest chunks at the bottom and at the back, like that. And then I'll lay some smaller ones on top. I tend not to use massive chunks that the big block can give because I want to save them for my bigger, longer cooks. So, because I'm going to be doing two cooks on the jotisserie today, I've put a little bit more coal in there than what I normally would. I'd normally probably, for one rotisserie basket, 40 minutes, probably use about half of that. But because I'm going to be doing two cooks on this today, I want to put just a little bit extra in. So, some people don't do this but I like to use three starters. So we've got one there, one there, and one down here. And that's because I want the whole thing lit. I have found in the past that if you just light it up in the middle, um, it burns, it just, I don't like the way it burns. So I always do the three. I always bank one slightly further back. Now normally I also use tumbleweeds as well but I put this massive box of these up in the store. So I thought I'd give them a try. I've not really used these kind of fire starters before. So we're gonna give that kind of 10 minutes or so to properly fire up. But that's my setup on the jotisserie. I find if I place the coals the way I've done it as well, I don't get any patches where it might burn out or anything else. So, but that's just me. Hey, you know, if anyone does anything differently, let me know. Some of you might just throw it all in and be done, but not me. So another little tip is with the basket itself. What I like to do whilst it's firing up, and again, this is just my preferences. You know, you guys can do what you want, but I used to make the mistake in the past of uh, setting the meat, setting the uh, the baskets in um, in it after I, uh, I've got the meat on. <laughs> and then you're messing about with it. So what I like to do is set it up, put the rod into the jotisserie power source, pop it on and then make sure I've got my basket exactly over the heat where I want it before it gets all hot. And there we are, we're ready to go and stick the meat inside while this gets fired up. Next little tip, I what I like to do is just get a cheap tray, foil tray, um, and then mold it in and around the side which doesn't have the coals. I'm not worried about any fat dripping onto the coals because it will just burn off but what I've found in the past is if you leave this side blank then you get the grease fall onto the the inside of the drip tray and everything else just gets a bit sticky that's all but they, again do it don't do it it's entirely up to you but just a little trip so last little tip for setting up the jotisserie is what you'll find using it is it doesn't give you a great seal and you will get a lot of escaped air and it gets a bit tricky for your airflow. So when you're monitoring your temperature. So what I like to do is actually get a brick, wrap it in a towel, because I want to protect, protect the ceramic, and then just pop the brick onto the handle. Now what this does is just applies enough weight to keep the seal from breaking around the front here. You're always going to get a little bit of escaping from the side, but Predominantly, as you can see now, hopefully, the only smoke coming out is just here. 
I haven't got any coming from the other side. Tiny bit over that side, but nothing around the front, which is cool. So we are right at that kind of 350 Fahrenheit, which is where I want to be. And um, this will get up, climb up to about 375. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I love this Jotisserie. I actually cook on it probably once or twice a week. And the flavour it brings from your food is just absolutely immense. Let's give that a little bit of a spin. There we go. And that Napoleon basket that you get with it, I think is brilliant as well. Um, as you can see, it's got two little paddles in the middle. So it just keeps everything nice and separate. But we're going to close this down. We're going to get the brick back on it. Keep that lid as tight down as possible. And we'll come back in about 35 minutes. They look absolutely perfect to me. So let's get these off.